Have you ever excitedly gone on YouTube to show a friend or family member a trailer of a movie you just watched and were really pumped about, only to find out that the first four or five recommended videos of said search bring up reaction trailers? I have nothing against reactors on YouTube, other than I think that a lot of them are disingenuous and ham it up for their audiences. So I guess I have a lot against them. I watch a movie and I get pumped and psyched, but I don't really do what people do online. When I tried to actually react for real, which I think I did for that, the new Batman movie that they had a trailer for months and months back, it's probably one of the worst videos I ever put out because there's just nothing, it's just so bad. And I can't for the life of me believe that anyone that does these reaction videos really reacts in real life like that. I may have done a video like this already in the past, so I do apologize if I'm kind of treading recent ground that I've covered, but God, it's so annoying to see all these stupid trailer reaction videos. I think what's even more comical about it is when they get pissed that their video gets copyright flagged because they showed the entire trailer, sometimes in their entirety without saying anything, and then they get mad when the studio's like, uh, you took our revenue because your YouTube video reaction was the top spot in the search and ours got pushed down to like the fourth or fifth. I think that's a legitimate criticism and don't give me some shit that I'm shilling for studios. God, there's nothing I love more than people saying that. Could you imagine studios paying me to shill for them? I don't even have a hundred thousand subscribers. Studios don't give a shit about me. I don't get access to movies early. I, I don't get screeners sent to me. I, I, I'm, I'm just going to movies like you guys and paying my way. Now, I don't think all forms of trailer reacting is bad. I think that there's plenty of good ones out there. I haven't seen any myself, but I'm sure they are out there, you know, where, where people give their take based on what they saw in the movie preview and, and there's some value there, you know, there, there's, you're like sitting with a friend and you watch that, they watch that and then you're hearing what they had to say. Like, man, I don't like the direction they're going here or that doesn't look quite right. Oftentimes though, the ones I've seen that always get recommended are just people doing the dumbest fucking faces I've ever seen. They're so unnatural. Sometimes they break down and cry. Sometimes they just, they jump up and down like dumbasses. And maybe, maybe that's something that people do, grown adults. Maybe that's something that 40 year old adults do. Uh, I haven't experienced it. I've, I've never seen a friend or a relative do such a thing, or even uh, my children. I show my kids a lot of movie trailers, even to movies they can't see, or even to movies that they've seen all of, and, and you know, like it's the fifth inter iteration, and they're just like, that looks cool. That looks cool. They're not fucking hanging from the ceiling fan you know, whipping their shirt around, running around, you know, chugging a chugging a Kool-Aid and, and just going off, snorting a line of uh, sugar off of the table. I recently did a video on how the term woke is overused in media. I stand by that video 100%. Some people were annoyed by it. They thought that I was jealous of some of these other YouTube channels out there that are making uh, good money off of getting outraged over the, the, the silliest of shit and um, you know they have a lot more subscribers and whatnot. Uh, the same I'm sure will be said about this where, I, where I'm talking about reactor videos. I have to tell you, none of this, none of this bothers me in the slightest. There's so many th ways to make money easy on social media. I, I would be a fool to get upset about that stuff. Like if I was a hot blonde or even like relatively attractive, with a decent rack, I could make good coin on Instagram or TikTok just by, just by going like this, you know? Just by going like this. This is 500,000 views right here. No, the only thing that bothers me is when people are dishonest about their reactions or when they're dishonest about their opinions. And then because they do this so often, they've, they've developed a culture of people that, that kind of grow up with them and, and think the same things they do. And it just leads to a really bad situation, I think. The reactor is not so much. That I just find cringy as shit. That's like, that's like mecha cringe. It's just bad. Is it harmless? Pretty much. Are there any victims? Well, yeah, me. Because I was looking for real trailers and I ended up finding some dumbass going, Whoa! <laughs> Black Widow finally got her own movie! <laughs> Scarlett Johansson worked so hard for this! <laughs>
I base my entire persona on Star Wars. I think YouTube needs some sort of a flagging system that puts them in a different bucket than major trailers. Like, if it's a studio release trailer, that should just be at the top, you know? That, that That's what I want. If reaction isn't in your search, don't show me the fucking reaction. So I gave you a problem I'm having. I also gave a solution for YouTube to handle the situation. Maybe they, they throw a flag on there that says it's a reaction video. They put it in its own bucket on the search. I don't know, what, whatever. I, I'm not I'm not the geniuses over at Google, okay? They can make those decisions and probably screw them up like they usually do. If you're wondering if I'm gonna do trailer reactions in the future, the answer is a resounding no. I'm clearly not interesting enough to do that type of content. I can't muster up the fakeness to do that kind of content. Otherwise, it would be my character Khaleesi Grimes on The Cringe, which is why I made that show separate. <laughs> what I'm gonna die is if this trailer doesn't come out soon. Oh my god, it's the trailer! <laughs> I mean, clearly I can do it. Clearly I can ham it up and be fake about it, but that's not what I want to do. That's, that's not genuine to me. I'm not pointing out any specific reactors, by the way. I'm not going on against anyone in, in particular. I don't have any, like, any, any stone to, to grind. I don't think that's an expression. Axe to grind. I mean, I don't have an axe to grind with anyone. You might have people that pop up when I say these things, and that probably says everything about that person you're thinking of. But no, that's not for me. And honestly, those those trailer videos get flagged so often by the studios, it's not even worth putting effort into. I don't really understand how those big reactor channels get away with showing it. They must have carte blanche to use the trailers. Like they must have permission from the studios to use them because they know they generate a lot of views, uh, and they're always. I'd say positive. The ones I see are always super positive about the, the previews. In fact, I've never seen them say negative things, but I've only seen like three or four. So maybe they have critical thoughts in their minds and they're not just mindless shills. They also might be. Let me know in the comments if you enjoy watching trailer reactions. Again, I'm not doing them, but just out of curiosity, I'd like to know your thoughts on it. I apologize if I offended you by, by saying that they're not for me and, and kind of you know knocking some of the people that I think aren't doing it uh, in good faith. Maybe they are and I'm just off base. That's entirely possible. I'm, I'm, I'm an old man who's out of touch now on YouTube. If you do agree though or appreciate the hustle, go ahead and hit the like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Adam does movies. I put out content constantly now. And uh, yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching. Hey, thanks again for watching the video. I mentioned earlier I have a show called The Cringe. That's now exclusive to Patreon and to YouTube Join members. So if you want to see my character Khaleesi Grimes 82 completely chill out for Hollywood, check me out on Patreon. You can join for just a dollar a month or you can join right here on YouTube for I believe $4.99 is the start if you want to give a little bit more. There's also different tiers on YouTube as well. So if you really like what I'm doing, you know, maybe maybe check them out and you'll you'll see the cringe in all its glory. <laughs>